The Bull Terrier is in the Terrier group with dogs like the American Staffordshire Terrier, Australian Terrier, and Scottish Terrier. It appears just about every English country has its own version of the Terrier. Who knew? The Bull Terrier's name originates from its bloodline mix, Bulldog and Terrier. The Bull Terrier has had numerous early changes that had been lost to time, but the earliest cataloging dates to the 1830s when it was called the Bull and Terrier, which culminated in the breeding of the popular English Bulldog and the long-lost White English Terrier. Why do you think they bred those two specific breeds? I'll give you a hint, it still plays a part in today's breeding, and even includes mixed dog breeding too. Fashion, in vogue at the time were white dogs, which raises the question, if white dogs were popular at the time, why did the white English Terrier go extinct? Well, I believe the white English Terrier morphed into the Bull Terrier, while the English Bulldogs still have plenty of demand as is. Regardless, the white English Terrier bloodline infused the perfect coloring into the Bull Terrier in the 19th and 20th century and earned it the nickname, the White Cavalier. But now, pet parents enjoy all colors of Bull Terrier, meaning one color is not preferred over any other. And speaking of Bull Terrier varieties, there's even such thing as a miniature Bull Terrier, which I have not seen before. Have you? Comment below. The most unique feature of the Bull Terrier is obviously its egg-shaped head. You just don't see this egg-shaped head in any other dog breed. The Bull Terrier was recognized by the AKC in 1885, and the Bull Terrier Club of America was formed shortly thereafter in 1887. Bull Terriers weigh between 50 and 85 pounds, depending on if it's a boy or a girl, and they have a short, flat coat that does shed, but they do not require heavy grooming. And because you can see the muscles through the coat, feed them a high protein dog food since they're gonna be active in agility, fly ball, weight pull, and carding, which will require that extra bit of strength. Bull Terriers are a stocky breed and they should move freely, free from excess. Their natural physique is square, but their personality isn't square, which makes them the perfect spokes dogs for some of the largest brands like Target. Bull Terriers are independent thinkers from their Terrier bloodline and have the assertiveness of the Bulldog, which seems interesting. And interesting is exactly what you get with the Bull Terrier. The Bull Terrier is hard to find, and they should not be confined to a crate. They like to be around you and please you. And hopefully, your Bull Terrier will be pleasing you for 10 to 14 years, which is a pretty good lifespan these days. Watch all my videos to find the right dog breed or hurt my feelings. And the Bull Terrier gets their feelings hurt too, so you must use positivity in your training routine. Don't be too serious. And have a sense of humor when training isn't going as planned. They will respond better and you'll get the playful and funny Bull Terrier that you desired in the first place. The Bull Terrier can be an active breed, so you will need to leash up and go for a walk, but they also have equal parts chill. If you're looking to adopt a Bull Terrier, inquire if they have an active bloodline that performs bomb detection and search and rescue, or a more household friendly drive that likes to go for walks and lay on the couch. This distinction matters a lot. Now, would you let a Bull Terrier make you laugh? Comment below.